Sarah with One Dream Farm. As you can see, I'm working on some strawberries. Um, we're going to be making just a simple, really easy jam today. Um, the first thing that we're going to be doing is removing the stems. I use a knife because I like to speed through it. Um, I don't think I've got enough crushed up. So I'm just going to cut these stems off and then we're going to crush some up and get started. We needed five cups of crushed strawberries for this recipe. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna be using a Sure Gel recipe. It's really simple. And hopefully it turns out really good. But I'm thinking this will probably do it. So, we're just gonna crush these up. I've got my cans. Well, my jars and my lids and everything on the stove right now and my canner heating up. All right, guys, we're just going to be measuring out the um, liquid. Well, the crushed strawberries. We need five cups. Two, three, four, trying to get every little bit, which is probably going to upset my kids, but you know, they'll have jam later. Five. All right, and like I said, we're just doing a sure gel recipe. I've never done this one before, so hopefully it turns out good. But here's my pack of sure gel. Says you can add butter if you want to reduce the foaming. Um, I don't think that I'm going to, but who knows when we get to the stove. have a whisk and I'm gonna try to stir this up as best as I can and then I'm gonna hurry over to the stove and put it on and bring it to a rolling bowl okay guys as you can see it's at a rolling bowl this recipe calls for seven cups of sugar and we are about to add that in while stirring constantly. That is a lot of sugar. Are you sure that was seven cups? Yeah, I'm positive. Why don't you want it more? No. It just looks like a lot of sugar. Oh, that was seven cups of sugar. a little and I'm 
going to stir, 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 stir. I think it's supposed to come back to a rolling bowl after a minute and then bowl for a whole minute. Some jars reheating on the back right there. They've already been heated once, but they got a little cold waiting on us to proceed with the process. We're just going to wait for this to go back to a rolling boil since we put the sugar in. And that was five cups of crushed fruit strawberries and seven cups of sugar guys as you can see it's at a rolling bowl it's got a couple more seconds and it should be done with the rolling bowl and I can take it off the heat and we can start ladling in it, it into the jars all right guys right now I'm just skimming off the foam off of the top I probably should have used the butter but it being my first time, I was kind of iffy about this recipe. Um, but so far, so good. I'm just gonna skim this off. And yes, I am putting it in a bucket down here. I'm not throwing it in the floor. Um, we do have pigs and they will enjoy a little sweetness. <laughs> All right guys, so we skimmed the foam off and now we're just gonna be add, ladling it into the jars. And praying that it sets. I always get nervous the first time I do something. Just because I've never done it before. I don't know if some of y'all feel that way. But I know I do. Her jam is gonna get everywhere. Okay, that one might be a little bit much. Pour some of that out. Y'all keep in mind that by no means am I an expert. <laughs> As y'all can see, I spill stuff, I get dirty. Nothing goes perfect in my world. But if it sets, it'll all be worth it. One more back here. I'm just cleaning the tops. I'm cleaning off the rims to make sure they're good and 
clean and not sticky. And yes, you see this towel underneath the jars. I usually have a, a different towel, but I always like to put hot jars onto a towel so that they don't cool too quickly and bust. Going from one extreme to the next. So in my videos when I'm canning, you'll always see me take them from the pressure canner or the water bath and put them onto a towel to let them rest. Sorry, Ledger's in the background going crazy about something. Who knows? Now I'm just sealing these and putting the, the rings on each one of them. And then we will put them in a water bath canner and hope for the best. I think they have to be boiling for 10, ten minutes. That's usually what jellies and stuff is. Uh oh. And they say that you don't have to um, heat your lids anymore. I do. It's a habit, and it's always worked really good for me, so I just have a hard time breaking myself from such habits. All right. Now I will get my rack. that right there. Check my pressure or my canner. Already, it's already boiling in there. So I hate this light thing. Hold on just one second. a little extra water in there. I'm not quite positive that that's an inch. Excuse me. So I'm just gonna take some hot water. Now there's supposed to be an inch of water on top of the jars, an inch or two. Um, it will take it a minute to get back to fully boiling, but we're going to put the top on it, and then once it starts actively boiling, then we will start timing. Alright guys, so we have them in the canner. The canner is boiling. I was right, it is 10 minutes that we let with jams process. So we're just gonna wait for these to process and then we'll take them out, put them back on the towel and let them cool and hopefully they seal and they set. All right guys, so it's been 10 minutes. The, the jam has been in the canner. Um, we're now going to take it out, place it on the towel, let it cool and hope for the best. I'm 
remove it off the heat so I don't burn myself. Remember, water bath canners are a lot different than pressure canners. If this was a pressure canner, yeah, I would have to wait a lot longer to remove them. Noah. Yeah. Come help me. You do what? I want you to hold this right here. Move out of the way. I want you to hold this. Sometimes you gotta call in reinforcements. This is my son Noah. Everything oh seems to look okay. We're just really there's nothing I can do now but hope for the best. But like I said, this was a pretty simple, easy recipe that anybody could do. If you like strawberries or if you have an excess amount of them, it's always good to have a little strawberry jam and cheaper than going to the store and buying it. And this is the finished product. Hopefully they seal and everything will go accordingly and they set. And Ledger's very proud and excited for some strawberry jam, apparently. I will say that they look very pretty. I don't think you can see how red they look. Now we just have to wait and see. Hopefully, hopefully they will seal and everything will go accordingly. Alright guys, this is the final product. We will be doing a video where I make some biscuits and show y'all the, you know, how it's set. But it did turn out very well.